Hey you, it's Jess here and we are flipping through the first half of the year of my planner, January through June and it is being uh, like permanently held in my aura star cloud in, God, what was it called? Pebble Grey? <laughs> the grey one. <laughs> and yes, yeah, so I'm keeping the full year in this one. My full 2020 year is also in um, an aura star cloud. Uh, but I've just gone ahead and I've put in January through June in here. Look how thick this girl is. <laughs> I've put her in here so we can have a bit more room planning in my, like, from July through December. So it's not too thick over there. But then all of it will end up in here in the end. But yeah, so it's, the year is half over. I've been using the Aura Stell um, dated inserts with this really fun sort of Pantone inspired look and I'm sure to show you a flip through but I don't want to do too much for you because <laughs> um, it is a lot to go through and we'll just do a couple of comments each spread just looking back on the year. So first obviously we have January and I have been decorating with stickers the front and I think it turns out really fun but my okay so this and my monthly spread and the first New Year's Eve spread all the same art which was my um, blast off uh, New Year's art <laughs> um, it just ended up being that way that I used it three kind of times all together but for this one, I just used the decorative sidebar because it was just too pretty not to include. Uh, but from now on, starting in Feb, I use a checklist in here. But yeah, I think this is just my pre-planning. It's pretty simple. It's pretty much where I leave it in my videos. But first we have the first week of January in this really fun, hollow, <laughs> very shiny spread. And yeah, it was an interesting week. Oh, we were, um, well, obviously New Year's Eve. We were just in our um, apartment in Helsinki, had mac and cheese, played Animal Crossing. And then someone um, did a website where it timed up Darude Samstorm to New Year's Eve because a couple of years ago for uh, Finland's um, celebrating 150 years of being the country they had Darude for do sandstorm at New Year's Eve so <laughs> they just timed the video to work with that video so that was hilarious and we were playing some World of Warcraft back then so I kind of sometimes I miss World of Warcraft but we just haven't picked it up again lately just been a bit busy but then the spread turned out really pretty and then we're getting into my winter kits I pretty much only I start winter January basically and um, just because there's so much autumn and so much Christmas, but this is the first one which is Winter Mermaids. It's a mystery from SPC. I just say this is also from SPC. And it came with a snowflake sparkly hollow bundle. It's just so beautiful. I just love the idea of winter mermaids. They're like in the Arctic, the Antarctic. I think it's the Arctic because we have polar bear. <laughs> Um, I just love the idea of like cold, wintry mermaids in icy water. So, love that again. More World of Warcraft. It snowed all day. So, we had lots of snow at the time. So, that was good. Um, yeah, I was watching a lot of tin Nintendo talk then as well. And I still watch a bit of him. And then we have this Caress Press mystery kit with a ton of snowflake. Silver foil. This foil is from Planet Choco. This is a really fun. I like. I try to mix up my winter sets, so there's a bit more colors and um, like just a bit more variety through winter. I think this one really helped with that. Looks like we're now rewatching Psych, which we we watch a lot. <laughs> I had to walk in the snow to pick up mail. Um. Yeah, we, oh, we got some Ikea this day. I think this was our um, standing lamp in the um, living room. I was binging this series where this um, antique collector and seller bought the contents of a hoarder house. Um, and the video series is of us of him going through the hoarder house, cleaning it out for the people who bought the house. 
and then auctioning off that person, the hoarder things. All while, you know, making sure that person who was the hoarder was respected. But, um, that was a really interesting series. <laughs> and then this day, if the, um, weather said it felt like minus 27 degrees Celsius. So that was pretty cold that day. Then I used my Aurora set. This one's from SPC, this version. Again, with more snowflakes. And this is sort of my base of Lapland. And then I put some touches of um, Frozen because it was sort of told like, oh yeah, that looks like Frozen uh, with the reindeer. But that was, it was more of a Lapland kind of idea. But, and the Aurora Borealis. But I think it has so pretty and again, a bit more different for winter. Uh, I'm still watching Psych. I got my little Planet Hannah um, pump, uh, pumpkins, uh, pineapples stickers in the mail to mark Psych with. And yeah, I guess there's not much else to talk about. We got a new washing machine on the Tuesday. That's pretty awesome. Love our washing machine for sure. <laughs> And then this is the last of January. We use this Villa Art Studio art from SPC. Um, I just love it again, different. There's more purples and browns. Um, so a different winter look again. But, and I paired it with this icy cold, cool pink foil bundle and also silver. And I think it turned out so pretty. We're still doing a ton of laundry, obviously, <laughs> because, um, because, well, we had a lot of laundry waiting for that washing machine to come in. Oh, yes, Andrea Death Chat, lol, oop. It was actually, like, a couple of weeks before, and I forgot to put in my planner. So I put it in here just, like, to remember it by, but Andrea and I talking about death because we are constantly DMing weird, deep stuff like that. And then we go into February, and I love my Feb, um... Like the dashboard is so cute. And the inside, I'm using an older set, this leopard um, print art from SPC. And yeah, it's got some big stuff in February. So let's get into it. We've got that control or delete art, which is based off like a soft girl aesthetic. Uh, I just love this. I think, was it a. No, it was a release. It was a normal release, I think. I don't think it was a mystery kit. But I paired it with this Caress Press um, Sparkly Holy Rainbow Luxe, and I think it was just perfect. <sighs> so pretty. I love this. I have a second copy of this kit, so. <laughs> this is my favorite gaming channel. It was two years old on this day. They've been running for two years, so I'm so proud of them. Listen to the Galavant soundtrack because Galavant was amazing. <sighs> I loved it. Anything else? <laughs> For this week. I think that's it. Luck made tacos. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> and then this was a Valentine's Day week on the Sunday, so I used the Valentine's Day art that I did for my shop from SPC's version with a ton of heart foil and some bows. And it's just super like, look at this. It's, it's, it's Valentine's right there. I love it. This is when Heidi was a bit unwell when we were taking her to the vet. And she had antibiotics and things. Don't really understand what was happening there, but we got it all sorted out. And then Locke was doing the um, permit, uh, residence permit stuff at immigration, which is still in processing. So who knows? It's been that long, guys. We're still waiting, but... Hopefully we'll hear about it soon. On the 13th, it is actually, it was my five years on YouTube. I've been doing videos on here for five years. Um, and I started, my first spread that I showed, Plan With Me, was a Valentine's Day spread. So yeah, I had to mark that in. Super fun. That was that week. And then this week we went dark and um, brooding with um, Alita Designs Art with again Scribble Prince Co. Kit. But I loved these eyelashes and leopard print box from Sadie Stukas. And I used real glitter headers, which you can't really see in this light. But so beautiful. It's just dark and different. And I used some black foil as well, like black bougies, which I thought looked great. 
and Locke started finished school this day. It was like a thing for immigration that if you're on unemployment, they let, they want you to learn Finnish and they pay for you to learn Finnish, which is nice. Um, and then it was pancake day on the 16th, uh, which is like a British thing. So we had pancakes and then obviously, yeah. So that was pancake day, I guess. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think that was it. We watched, rewatched Hot Solo, a uh, Star Wars story, which um, was that and Rogue, um, Rogue One are my, the only, really, I'm um, the last Jedi I like of the new films. I don't really like the other two of the new sequels, but I do like Solo and Rogue One and The Last Jedi, which is seemingly uh, an unpopular opinion, but whatever. Then I wanted to change it up and do more uh, sort of wintry stuff again at the end of Feb. And this is two kits put together. They had very similar art by the same, very similar colors by the same artist. And SBC released them on the same week, so I just bought both of them. Because one was technically a Harry Potter kit, and I don't like Harry Potter, and I don't really want to support that. But I do love the idea of, like, history of magic, like, as a historian. So, <laughs> we're doing that. And so I mixed it with a coffee kit. I think it looked so pretty. I have this box from Sticky Essentials. Coffee is my love language. Baked cookies on this day, cooked soup, it was foggy. Oh, we tried a new bubble tea place, Boba Chick, which is one of our faves now. I love that. There you go. Another great week. And then we have a March here with some St. Patrick's Day art. Um, once again, oh, this is another one where it's like, the three lots of art <laughs> that I used but this was like the best option for this month I just I loved the way this art turned out I drew it for my shop so I had to use it and it's just it spoke to me so once again another big month so let's get into it um, I've been I had been saving this alien x-files um, kit from SBC with Darcy art because I just, ugh, I freaking love this. And I saved it for March because I really liked the green and pink aspect going from February to March. And it's just so beautiful with the celestial sparkly hollow. And just, ugh, she's, like, it's gorgeous. I love it. <laughs> um, oh, this munchkin doesn't have any eyes. Oh, its head is down. I don't know why I thought looking at it, it had no eyes. But it's just its head is down. <laughs> What's happening? Oh, I rewatched Teen Titans Go to the Movies. Definitely one of the best DC films ever. It's animated. It's so good. It's not just for children. You should definitely check it out. Um, Teen Titans Go to the Movies. I was listening to the BVS soundtrack. I think this is when I was drawing that superhero art. I think so. So, And we were watching Mad Men. And I think we finished it around this time. Or maybe the next week. I did some taxes. And then the next week I used the Cyber Monday Mystery from Caress Press with this really fun breakfast club art. I don't know why I just felt like using it this week. And I used a lavender hollow foil with it. And I think it turned out really, really cute. I do love the colors and I just really liked the art. Like, um, I think my favorite parts are like the cereal and the waffle ice cream. And then DHL was messing with me this time, so I was like, what the heck, DHL? Snowing all day in my feelings. I made a classical music playlist that day. <laughs> um, yeah. It was good. Once again. And then, of course, we have this bread for St. Patrick's Day, and I used the kit from SBC, some... Lux Rainbow from Crest Press and some St. Patrick's Day stuff from Sadie Stickers. Just to sort of put it all together. And it was actually Heidi's birthday on the 15th. I think she turned six. I didn't write it here, but maybe my monthly. I like to keep an eye on that. Six, yes. So she turned six this year, which is nuts. She's getting so old. <laughs> we got her when she was about. Um, I know, 18 weeks old, so had her for a while, but then it was St. Patrick's Day, but yeah, her, her birthday's almost always on the same week, oop, as St. Patrick's Day, so I usually have to pick either or, 
And last year I used a my pet potty art with this like a cat which is like a pet birthday set. So I used St. Patrick's Day this week. Um this year. But also this year I became an official Irish citizen, so I wanted to use this as well and like the Kiss Me I'm Irish because hey, I am Irish now. And then the Sanrio update came out on Thursday and so did the Snyder Cut, the Zack Snyder's Justice League, um, and it was so good. Like, I watched it and I'm like, I'm pretty set for superhero films for the foreseeable future. I don't need to watch anymore. <laughs> like, I thought that was really, really, really good, but honestly, I don't need it anymore. I'm done with superheroes, to be honest. And then we finished Mad Men and we started watching The Man in the High Castle. So pretty and sparkly. And then I used this mystery from Caress Press with the matching foil, I think. Or at least a silver foil. And um, this is like a rainy day kind of one because it was still sort of wintry still here this time. So I, I put this in and um, yeah, I don't know. Listen to the um, Snyder Cut soundtrack, playing Animal Crossing, Man in the High Castle, Luck went to the dentist. Pretty, pretty simple week. <laughs> and then we go into April, which I just love this sticker pack and the Daisy Duck signature from uh, Wishbone Magic. I think it just turned out so cute with this April colors. And then I used an um, Easter set from Scroll Prince Go for the monthly because I wasn't using Easter in my actual planner. So I put it into my monthly and you'll see why. I just didn't actually know. You don't really see why. It's just I'm not into Easter that much. <laughs> um, so I used this um, mystery kit from Caress Press, the B1, the Honey B1, which was um, actually the first custom I ever did for Maggie. And I think it just turned out so pretty, I had to use it. And I really, really love it, especially sort of as the end of March green kind of um, starting to get into spring. I thought this would be a fun kit to use this week. And um, obviously it was Easter week, and I watched Danny Jolly's comedy special, which is really, really funny. It's free up on YouTube. So I thought that was really funny. My beach day art release that day. We were watching, uh, sorry, excuse me, we're all burping on YouTube right now. What's with that? <laughs> like quite a few of us. Um, but Tasting History, uh, which is a really good history cooking YouTube channel, which I highly recommend checking out if you're interested in the actual history and seeing some ancient um, historical recipes are really cool. And we baked hot crust buns from scratch for the first time because they don't sell them here in Finland and it's like, it's a staple in Australian British culture. So yeah, I had to make some hot cross buns. And then, uh, look how pretty this is. This is a Locke's a birthday week. Locke is my partner and I just use the kids that I want to use for their birthday. Um, they don't care. So this is, the one I used. So this is the art, birthday art that I released. Um, the start of the year, like it's nice to do that to sort of have a fresh year of birthday um, art. And yeah, it was Lux's birthday here and on that day they had a job interview because obviously they've been doing Finnish school this whole time but doing job interviews um, because the jobs that they do are in, are in English. So still looking for jobs. But they offered them a job this Friday. Um, but we're still holding out, didn't accept it just yet because this is a traineeship position and they had an interview for um, a permit position at another place. So we, we just gave us some time before we accepted that job offer. But this week turned out so pretty. And, this, and I was color blogging here. When did I start color blogging? <laughs> Um, I just randomly felt like color blocking one day and then I just started doing it every week. It just took a lot of pressure out of my brain. So I started color blocking um, St. Patrick's Day. Yes, I've mostly been doing it since then. <laughs> I only watched the movie Holmes and Watson, which 
um, is like, it is bad, but I still like had fun and enjoyed myself watching it. So I don't know. And this is when we started watching Superstore as well. Very cool. And then this was, um, I think at the, at the time I said it was just kind of a fail spread. Um, I think it's just the rainbow foil was too much for this art, um, even though I, it goes with Sailor Moon, but it didn't quite work out. Did I say that's SBC, SBC with Darcy art? Anyway, so it didn't quite work out, but um, I still like it. It's just, it's a lot. And I was like, I need to rein back and maybe not use all the fun foils. They're just not 100% my thing. So if I had done it all in gold or all in sparkly hollow, I think it would be much prettier. But alas, this is what we have. <laughs> um, they had the interview and then they were grumpy because that interview was supposed to get back to Gluck on Friday and they didn't. Um... So did I actually say that they accepted a job? Oh, it's over here. They're just grumpy because they were supposed to be back on Friday and then we waited all the weekend and most of the next week, so. <laughs> um, but yeah, I was a bit sad with this spread, but the art is so pretty. So at least it's that. Oh well. <laughs> you can't win them all. And the next week was Andrea's birthday week, so I used the Barbie art for that um, because we drew this. This is um, exclusive for SBC for Bennett's birthday and has been re released, so go and get it from the shop now if you want this. It's beautiful, look at it, especially with all the silver foil. <laughs> and um, to his Andrea's birthday, I decided to use it for her birthday because. I don't know, um, I just felt like it. I thought it matched very well. We both love Barbie and pink. <laughs> and then on Thursday, um, Luck accepted that traineeship offer. And then, uh, like, later that day found out that the, like, permanent position actually didn't want to hire them. So it all worked out in the end, and the traineeship's been really good. So happy about that decision. <laughs> I baked cakes and cooked tacos. Oh, we thought our vacuum might be broken this day, but it was actually, like, I cleaned the filter um, at the end of it, and then you let it dry for 24 hours, and then it just still wasn't, and then it wasn't working, but we found out, actually, it just needed to dry for longer. <laughs> it was still wet. So, it wasn't broken, luckily. <laughs> um, but I think that is it just a really pretty spread. Ugh, love it. Love bobbies. And this is where I, and then I was like, this is super bright. So I decided to bring, rain in the foil this week. This is my dream art using Caress Press Kit. And um, I didn't put any bottom washi stuff down, not even a double washi. I just really liked the grit. And also, oh, this premium matte sticker paper is so smooth. And I used checklist with white space. Um, and then L uh, Log signed the contract this Friday, so they went into work and got all that situated. And I was just yet yeah, working on art stuff. Played some Pokemon Snap that came out this time. And oh, this was um, Vapu. So um, the 1st of May or May Day in Finland, it's called Vapu. And we had. And you traditionally have like donuts and um, this kind of honey mead cider stuff, um, Sema. So we had that and it was very delicious. And that day we watched both the Mitchells vs. the Machines and Sonic the Hedgehog. Both very good, highly recommend. And we were re-watching Gravity Falls at this time. Yeah. Oh yeah, we got a bunch of... We got the wrong like bag of freezer goodies in our grocery delivery on Wednesday and it came with all of these strawberries and blueberry, frozen strawberries and blueberries. So we made a big strawberry blueberry crumble and it was delicious. <laughs> so I recommend that too. And then we're going into May, which I used a bunch of Sonia Stegeman stickers to decorate that. So I'm getting way more into actual spring now. <laughs> it takes a while. And then I used this book nerd art from SPC 
for the monthly. And here we go, the first one of May. I just, for Mother's Day, I decided to go for this fun peachy springy set. And this is the first time I think using the matte bronze foil bundle. And it is gorgeous. I love how subdued it is, but it still kind of gives that shine. But it's not like in your face, like even champagne gold is like. Um, this is even softer, so I love that. And it went perfectly with this art. This is an SPC kit, an art by Leia and Luna, very pretty. And so it was Mother's Day and I called my mom, obviously. I believe, yeah, I sent her some flowers. I found a new florist in her city back in Australia. Sent her some flowers and they were really, really beautiful. So I'm glad I found that florist. Um, we're watching Border Town, which is a Finnish crime show. So if you're into Nordic crime, definitely check out Border Town. It was great. Um, and in Finnish, but it has subtitles, obviously. <laughs> I'm also watching some Mythic Quest, too. But, yeah, I broke my nails. I don't know what it is. I've been using these D Dashing Divas nail stickers for ages now. And my nails at this time were, like, super brittle and kept breaking. And now, in July, they're, like, super strong. And they haven't broken at all. So, I don't know. Maybe my nails are just better in the heat and humidity. That's bad. I don't like heat and humidity. <laughs> but I do like having stronger nails. So, that that's annoying. <laughs> I'm also watching some Bob's Burgers too. And then I used this Caress Press kit called Belle and this was my, um, it's actually my Rococo art but I thought it might sell better if I pivoted towards also being Beauty and the Beast. I just really wanted to draw Rococo. <laughs> so I added some Beauty and the Beast kind of flavor to it so you got like the teapot and the uh, rose under the dome and you have like the candelabra, the clock, you have Beast's castle, the library. This library exists by the way and I think it'd be so amazing to go see it. Um, I got my favorite girl there but yeah I really loved this spread. I don't know if I have a plan with me up on this actually. So this might be your first time seeing it um, but the, I think the color blocking worked so amazingly for this spread. It's gorgeous. We had a Daddy Greens, which is like a pizza place here, which um, is actually run by a dude from New York. And <laughs> so it's, I guess it's fairly like, you know, spot on pizza for New York. And we have pancake breakfast. We were having a lot of like pancakes and bananas and uh, bananas, <laughs> um, bacon and eggs at this time. Mass Effect came out, the re-release, we played a bit of that, but we haven't since then, so we should probably catch up on that. And then this is the week before Eurovision, so I rewatched Eurovision Fire Saga on Netflix, I love that film. As a lover of Eurovision, I do also love the film. <laughs> but I highly recommend checking out real Eurovision if you like this. And I also watched Blades of Glory, which is hilarious. I just love Will Ferrell, he's hilarious. Then this week is the week of uh, Eurovision. So I used this Fleur kit from Caress Press and the Butterfly Foil Bundle from her shop. Look how beautiful. Um, this, uh, this spread actually makes me think of Planning by B, Bridget, <laughs> because she's Dutch and she was using a lot of her own butterfly foil throughout this time. So it makes me think of her now, this spread. But I use it because like the tulip fields and the bicycle and it's like Netherlands and that's where Eurovision was held this year and it was so good. Really enjoyed it. Um, Man of Skin, the winner is not really my kind of thing, but I'm happy for them and I'm happy Finland came sixth. Yeah, and Ukraine as well came third or fourth or fifth. But I really loved Ukraine as well. So. Um, I had a little burnout this week. I had like, you know, a day. <laughs> There's a thunderstorm. I'm watching the semi-finals and the Eurovision final. Oh, we started making our Japanese and Korean pop playlist because we used to have a whole bunch of Korean and Japanese pop um, music and it was mostly CD form because we actually bought it in Japan. So I went through Spotify and just, I tried to find everything that I could that was in our collection and it is pretty impressive now. 
think it's like five hours long. So <laughs> doesn't have everything, but it has quite a lot. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Uh, oh, this restaurant we like, every now and then they'll have Hainanese chicken rice on their menu, but it's not normally there. But to this day they had it and it was, ugh, I love it. It's one of my favorite dishes ever. If you ever see it, Hainanese chicken rice, I highly recommend, especially if it's cold because it comes with like a chicken broth soup and it's just so good, so good. <laughs> so I highly recommend that. And then this week in May, um, on Monday, my PhD testament or diploma arrived in the mail. I didn't get to go to my graduation, so I used, because um, it's in Australia, and obviously it's a bit hard in the pandemic. <laughs> um, so I used this graduation kit for my diploma being delivered, because that's like the official end of it. And I did a little custom box of me wearing the PhD robes that I may never yet to wear now. <laughs> um, and Andrea very kindly printed it into a sticker for me, as well as Heidi, my little Heidi sticker. So this is a very nice, precious week that I'm so glad I got to plan and keep forever. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I got the diploma this week. What else? We watched Jumanji 2. That was pretty good. And Rocket Man, which I really enjoyed. And then Lucifer 5B came out this week, but we haven't watched it yet. So no spoilers, but we're very behind on that. We're just not in the mood, you know? You have to be in the mood. Um, and then Ouch Period. Yep. Ding dang periods. So now we come to the last month of June, and again, I used some Sonia Stegerman stickers from her Patreon subscription. And I, she came with like this really big washi sample, so I used it here with the mermaids. Um, and I think it turned out really, really cute, just layering that together. And then this is a vinyl die cut from Fox and Cactus. Just a little mercat I thought would work in June as well. And I, I put this here months ago, like at the beginning of the year. So I'm so glad I got this sticker subscription to you know, add to it. And then I used the um, Disneyland Paris teacups uh, monthly from SPC. Very simple. But the first one I have here was to celebrate the Sailor Moon Eternal movies coming to Netflix. And this is Harajuku Girl from Caress Press, another of my customs for her. And uh, I just love this. Like, it's so pretty. I used a bunch of Sailor Moon stickers throughout to make it a bit more Sailor Moony, and I really loved the movies. And I'm just fingers crossed that they do the last Sailor Moon Stars um, movies because it's my favorite. So I would like to see that in movie form. And uh, we found out this day that um, they were going to open appointments on the Monday, the next Monday, for our age group for the vaccine, but we were able to make an appointment on the midnight on the Sunday, so that was awesome. And hot and sunny, so this is where it's really started getting, you know, June is where actually like summer comes in. <laughs> um, but that was this week, I really love it. Yeah, this turned out so pretty. And then this week I used my foodie set. This one is from Caress Press with silver foil. I just, this is probably my most, my top liked and bought art set and I think it just looks so amazing and the plan are just so fun. I put as much food as I could in here, <laughs> like tacos, noodle master, um, we got curry here, we got picnic fish and chips, McDonald's, um, chicken salad, we had um, kamaleg and we got our first COVID vaccine on the Saturday and I got a perfect little injection sticker from Hazel sticker for that and then I went out to the shops the next day and got printer ink and all sorts just great a really good week I watched Kiki's delivery service and she also works perfectly in this set but I love the color blocking on this one as well and then what do we do we got two more left yes so you have, um, this week in June, it's, I used the coffee shop set from Sigrobo Prince Co. with the, again, Lux Rainbow from Caress Press. I just love this foil bundle. You guys, I don't know, it's an obsession. <laughs> 
This is based off my affogato art and it's just a really fun, like trendy, modern, um, aesthetic coffee shop art, but also it has like a touch of Korean because this is like based off a Korean coffee shop. And I just really loved that aesthetic altogether. And yeah, I don't know what happened. Um, oh yeah, so I had the vaccination on Saturday and I got a sore arm in the, like the spot where the shot happened, which just lasted a day, that was fine. But then on, I put it on Thursday, but it was on Wednesday night uh, when I was going to try and sleep. I had like 30 minutes of cold chills. And I'm wondering if that was like a, a leftover um, side effect. But it was just that 30 minutes and then it's been nothing since. So, I don't know. Just that. <laughs> that happened. <laughs> Um, again, lots of delicious food this week. We got Fat Lizard, which, um, they had their own, um, fried chicken dish. And the fried chicken had Old Bay cheddar seasoning on it. Oh my god, it was so good. And then it came with a watermelon and feta salad. And then, um, grilled peppers, like little peppers. I can't remember the other thing that came with, but oh my god. They were so delicious. It was super expensive. So we've only done it that once, but that was so worth it. It was delicious. I loved it. <laughs> um, and then we got, <laughs> we got this, um, tried out this new curry place. And the curry was like extra spicy. Like I ate it, but you know when it's like, you're like, okay, my butt hurts from the spicy food. <laughs> and then this day everything went wrong. Oh yes, that day was like. Uh, we set off the smoke alarm and things to sp and drinks spilled everywhere. Ah, oh, it's just everything went wrong that night. And the final week of June, we have um, this is Midsummer week, so the Saturday is Midsummer in um, I can't remember what it was in Finnish. I know it. You anyway, whatever. It was Midsummer on Saturday, which is a big. Thing in Finland, um, everyone usually gets Midsummer Eve off and all of this, you know, the whole weekend. It's a whole thing, and I decided to use this ice cream set from um, Caress Press. This is art from last year, but I bought it for this year because I didn't get to use it. And it's so cute, and it was perfect for this week because it was hot, and also Finns adore ice cream, like, a lot. So <laughs> I thought this worked perfectly for Finnish Midsummer. And I was just working a lot. Oh, I was watching the Lord of the Rings. This is when I was drawing Lord of the Rings. So I watched um, all the Lord of the Rings films this, these two days doing that art set. My fellowship art, which uh, I'm so happy about. But and we watch, we rewatched the Righteous Gemstones. Anything else? Went to our kioski together to pick up some mail and Log had a coupon from work for a free ice cream. As I said, they love ice cream. <laughs> so they got their free ice cream. I got my mail and we got back and there was a huge thunderstorm like right afterwards, which was like huge movie like cracks of thunder. And it was amazing. And then this day I wrote period tum tum because you know when you have your period and you're just like super bloated. Ugh, I hate it. So I put that in there <laughs> and I was starting, I was back into reading Fellowship of the Ring this week. Trying to finish the trilogy, I switched to audiobooks on recommendations by luck, and it actually works. Like, I can listen to it going to sleep, or while I'm drawing, or while I'm playing Animal Crossing, actually. So I've been listening to the audiobooks and loving it. Um, but I wrote down here, hot summery week. But that was the first half of 2021 in my planner. Let me know down below what was your favorite spread. What was your fa your favorite spread in your planet this um, first half of the year? <sighs> Let's just say it every single time. I can't believe the year is half over. But here's hoping to a much better holiday and fall and winter season coming up. I can't wait. But if you like this, don't forget to give a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more. See these plan with me's every week. Um, I'd love to have you, but otherwise I'll see you next time. Bye!